Hey everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Code Cleanup, how to configure it, and how to apply different profiles. Now, the first thing that I would like to take a look is just let's run Code Cleanup and let's see what it does for us, right? So we have the property here, we have a field here, and I have put a constant down here. I have a function with quite a few variables, uh, another function with some redundant code like this else here and uh, just generally like this field could be read only and some space here now uh, if you watch the key binding episode is pretty much i have it bound to control alt f and that's the silent code cleanup uh, always again you can get to the actions menu i have it bound on control shift a uh, and then here you can type in uh, cleanup and you can find the code cleanup and the silent code cleanup and whatever key binding you have in there you can pretty much take it. And now the code cleanup, the full code cleanup, when you click on that, it pretty much tells, asks you where do you want to run the cleanup, like what scope, what file, or the whole solution, and what profile you want to run on it. Uh, if uh, I just grab silent code cleanup, it will just work on the file that I'm working on, right? So let's go ahead and run this. So Control alt f There we go. The code, uh, code cleanup has run. It is basically a definition of a convention that you want to follow in your files. So it has moved these variables up here. It hasn't fully gotten rid of ridden of these spaces. It did apply the read only modifier, and uh, the other thing is it has removed the else. Now, uh, also let's get back. Another thing it did apply the braces. So how to configure this uh, code style? In the settings, Control Alt S is the key bind. Otherwise, you can go into File Settings. This will be under the Editor menu. You're gonna go into Code Cleanup, and uh, here you will have the profiles. At the moment, we're using the full cleanup, and uh, we will get to making a, a, a custom profile for, uh, in just a minute. Uh, the actual coding style that is going to be applied is inside here, so code style. So here you just have some base configuration for the styles, but what we're really interested in is in this C sharp section. So there is a lot of things that you can do here. Most of this you really don't want to touch, and if you are ever at a point where you're like, I want to configure the code styles, and this is really where I want to give you like a pointer in terms of how to navigate this, right? So most of the time, like uh, where to put the parentheses and stuff like that, you're not you're not interested in that. The real times that you want to identify what kind of code style do you want is, do you want these uh, braces removed? Do you want it on a single line? Or do you want it to be wrapped in uh, braces? Those kind of things. You don't want to just jump in and the first thing you do is apply, uh, create your own coding style you want to use the default and then every time you find an annoyance kind of thing, you're like, right, I want to configure this, right? So this is pretty much the process that you want to follow. Uh, let's say you run code cleanup and it does something that you don't want. So let's say I want all of these if statements single line, except for this one, because there's two things here, right? So let's go back and let's go ahead and try to find out what's happening. Uh, one uh, easy way that you could do is you have warnings here. Uh, you could alt enter and this wrench right here, which is basically an inspection, you can configure the code style almost, sometimes you can configure it straight through here and otherwise you can pretty much press enter and it will take you to where the style is located. And so for this example, it's going to be in code style. Amongst all of these options, you're really, first of all, you wanna look at the heading and over time, it might not make, at the beginning, it might not make sense, but over time, you'll get used to understanding these sections. So we we're looking for an if statement, and we're really looking for the braces, right? And uh, it's not going to be in the braces layout because this is really a coding style. So let's go ahead into code styles. Uh, we will skip down to where it says braces, and then we will have for an if statement. Uh, and I have it set to enforce always, but if you basically say do not enforce, let's save this, let's run the code cleanup, and now you can see that it will remove the braces for this. And this is the kind of thing you want to do. You want to find a single thing that is sort of like, right, I don't like how this got cleaned up, 
let me go and change one setting and see if I can fix that one thing. You don't want to fix the whole thing right up. You just want to find small things and fix them that way. Right. So let's take another example uh, again to go back. Right. So another thing you might be stumped and really uh, you want to be patient with the code cleanup is let's say I want the w w when I have a bunch of parameters in my method, I want to drop them down and let's say I do the code cleanup and it doesn't drop it down. And then you will do something like you will go into the code cleanup and you'll be like, right. Uh, it's about line breaks, so line breaks and wrapping. So line breaks are basically a new line, All right? And we're gonna use uh, look for method. So method signatures. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. And uh, then I have wrap format formal parameters, and it says chop a flung multiple, right? So it's configured here like this, and it's like right. What the hell? Why is it not applying? But this is where you basically get it. Take another step and read some of the other options in this. Uh, uh, what's called in this section because the next one pretty much says right where is the limit of basically longer basically multiple or long what's your definition for that part and uh, this is essentially when you go right uh, if it's more than two go ahead and chop it okay so let's go ahead save this and now if I run the code cleanup this is gonna get chopped this will stay the same and uh, the braces are taken away another thing is about reordering and as well, if we go back into the settings, uh, code style, and we look for layout somewhere here, so modifiers, layout, and this is where you're going to basically, your arrangement of public, private, whatever. Uh, another thing is your naming conventions, so you basically can decide how uh, your methods, local, privates, whatever, get named again. Uh, th there is no real point in going over these, just... You, you're, you're the one who will have to basically go in here, check these settings out, and most of them don't end up touching. And as I mentioned before, you just want to look for little nagging things and adjust them to your liking, essentially. So let's go back and let's talk about the profiles. So as you can see, at the, uh, as you've seen, we're pretty much rearranging the whole file. Uh, you can... Uh, create your own profile so if we go into code cleanup section and we add a, our own profile we basically we start with a blank slate so if we go into the c-sharp section uh, this is essentially nothing sticked so none of the coding styles applied so if we save this and we run it it's still going to apply the full style uh, cleanup because you have to set it as a default All right so if we go back and we go here uh, you have to select it and you have to set your code cleanup as the default and then this will be the default for your silent one again uh, and if we run it right now you can see that not much has changed uh, our variables haven't gotten rearranged the very the var hasn't been applied the braces uh, however some of the coding styles have applied so if we go back and again the way that you would add it in the profile you'd go to the profile and you would select what kind of things that you want right so I really don't care about the explicit variables, so change them to vars, remove code redundancies because I don't want that code. And another thing we can want is the braces, right? So this will be the add remove braces for single statements, blah, blah, blah. And let's save that. So now I should see something along the lines of, right, the braces got removed, the integer got changed to a variable, but the layout has still stayed the same. So if you basically want a different kind of punch with your code cleanup uh, you could go ahead and create your own profile and you set it up uh, the way you want to uh, which basically styles you wanted to apply which changes you want to make this is how you configure that and the actual code uh, cleanup you configure it uh, not the code the code style you configure it here and this is pretty much it and again if uh, you want to check the key binds, uh, you go to this action action menu, uh, code cleanup, silent code cleanup. You can see the shortcut here. If you go to code cleanup, you can basically select your profile here as well and end the scope. So if you basically inherit a new project and you want to clean the whole thing up, go ahead, run this. And then if you do pull requests, stuff like that, uh, you're going to get shamed badly. All right. But this is essentially it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, 
If you know any other cool things about Rider, leave a comment. Don't forget to pick up the trial code in the description. Don't forget to join the Discord server, and I'll see you around.